In this video, I will compare Fantastical versus BusyCal and tell you which of these calendar apps may be best for you and your Apple devices. So both of them are calendar apps and task management apps that work on Apple devices. Now you can see BusyCal works on iOS and watchOS and on top of that it also works on macOS. Now Fantastical works on iPads, iPhones, Vision Pro, MacBook, and on Apple Watches. So both of them work on pretty much every single Apple device. Now BusyCall costs $10 for the iOS, which is iPhone, and for the Apple Watch. So if you just want to use it, it's $10 per device. And then for Mac, it's $49.99, which is a pretty big upfront investment. Now comparing this to Fantastical, you can see that they have a completely free plan available. Now for the premium features, such as travel time, automatic calendar switching, time to leave notifications, Apple Watch support, and some more scheduling, collaboration, and customization features, then you will need to get their premium plan, and that will cost for individuals 5 euros 84 cents per month, but then you can use it on all of your devices, whereas with BusyCall, if you want to use it on your Mac, iPhone, and Apple Watch, it will cost you $70 upfront. Now for families up to 5, it's 8 euros 34 cents, and for teams and businesses, it's 5 euros 84 cents per user per month. So should you go with Fantastical or BusyCal? In my opinion, it's pretty simple. If you have a budget of zero, then automatically go with Fantastical because they have a free plan available. However, for the premium plans, BusyCal and Fantastical have very similar features. So you have task lists, you have an info panel, you have a monthly view, and also with BusyCal you can schedule in travel time, and you have a menu bar and an upcoming event countdown, so they are very similar in terms of features. So personally, I do like the fantastical user interface a little bit more, but that will just mean that BusyCal takes a little bit more time to learn. So it really just comes down, in my opinion, to which pricing structure you prefer. Do you want to pay $70 upfront if you want to use it on iPhone, if you want to use it on iPhone, Mac and Apple Watch, or do you prefer to pay €5.84 every month to be using fantastical? So after about one year, then BusyCal will be less expensive compared to Fantastical. Now this is when you bill annually, so if you want to bill monthly, then it will be a bit more expensive. And in that case, if you do want to bill annually, you would probably be best off still using BusyCal, since using BusyCal you only need to pay once, and then you can use it forever with Fantastical on the other hand, you need to pay every single month or year. Now also, if you want to use these tools for teams and businesses, or with your family, then I would go with Fantastical, since they do that very, very well, and they have some great collaboration features. So if you're looking for a tool for your personal calendar scheduling, then I would personally go with BusyCal, although the upfront cost may be a bit higher. But if you want to work together with teams and businesses or your family, then I would go with Fantastical. So that concludes this comparison of Fantastical versus BusyCal. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.